Conway's just come back now. There you go, fancy some of that. Just crack on, seems to be getting on fine. Oh. Ah, I thought my day was done. Just got a wee party of kids following me this morning. There we are, we can. What a beast. There we go, that's all already done. Coo's not you over. Ah, you bad. Yeah, we're stuck. Morning, Holly. Oh. Morning. Today's going to be a wee bit different. I'm going to head into the butchery. I'm going to work with one of the butchers called Colin. One, so that I can get a bit more knowledge on the cuts and the individual sections of the cattle beast because I don't know them that well, to be honest. And two, I thought it'd be quite interesting for yourselves as well. So let's get straight to the butchery. So Colin's just broken down a leg here for us on the camera. Split it down into all the components, which you'll see just now. Beef getting minced, drawn through here, and I'll make burgers from it. So let's do you get a pork? Exact same as sort of the last one. So we'll break this down. Muscles are all the same in every animal. This is going to be boned and rolled, you get a pork. There you go, nice roast, come and get them, a globe man. <laughs> so I know that piece, a wee bit more, on Friday coming up, he's going to go through uh, a bit of a lamb with me as well, so we'll get that on Friday. Cheers. Right, so you've seen there, one of the legs getting broken down, I'll go to a cattle beast and I'll show you exactly what bit of it, what bit of the cattle beast that was getting broken down. Okay, this is obviously on a cow and through our farm shop you'd be eating purely bullocks, but the anatomy is exactly the same. So the leg here, that is what we broke down in the butchery. I've moved cow. Top side down here, silver side down here, thick flank here, you've got a shin here. Anyway, that's the breakdown of cuts on the back leg of a cattle beast. Perfect timing, just on the last bale here. We lorries arrived for some straw. So load that up. Job done. That's that loaded up. Gonna take the grab off. Did get a video of that, but GoPro decided to not bother. So a load of timber just arrived for inside here because that's all going to be a timber framed building. So it's just arrived, that probably costs an absolute arm and leg. Just been registering that last calf that was born. Um, this is my book, I keep my calves in. My calves so far, um, so they're all registered, all on the system online, so we're good to go. Head along the road now, I'm going to swap with Kev uh, into the first spreader and kind of first spread till, till it gets dark really. It's to be wet tomorrow, so this will be the last of it, so we'll just keep cracking on and get things covered. Kev's on wheat now, that field of oats over there, he's done. This is a big old belter of a field of wheat, actually. He's done a field of wheat in line with that telegraph pole as well to do, so just crack on. Seems to be getting on fine. I'm just going to wander down, join him. See the stir kicking up. Um, not a stir kicking up, that would be lovely if it was those conditions. The stir coming off the fact that he's spreading. He's already wiped out a big field of oats over there. This, he must have just started the wheat or he's done the whole end rig, which will have taken time itself. And then he's just going up and down. Once he gets over there, it's a, a round that gets up to just shy of a kilometre. So it's quite a big field, this. You can see the wee granules. They'll soak up the moisture and break down a bit, but it's also going to rain tomorrow, so they'll wash in, no problem. Right, we're off to the races here. I forgot to give that bag a thud, there's a few clumps, but it'll work itself out, it'll be fine. Okay, I've got a few rounds done of that. I'll do a few rounds just to get into the swing of it. 
and then I need to go and do that field just because when it gets wet that one always stays sticky the longest longest so if we get that finished definitely and then I'll get back into this field and see how far I get right we're moving everything seems to be working fine didn't need to set anything up because Kev already had it going so we're spreading here at 250 kilo uh, per hectare we've got 2.3 ton in the hopper see it spreading out the back there there's a slight breeze but not much and also it's quite dense um, so it's quite heavy it spreads fine if we were spreading urea um, the wind affects it a bit more because it's, uh, it's not as dense a bit lighter takes with the wind a bit more whereas this is quite heavy it's just a wee a tiny wee breeze there's actually not much wind at all so just pull up to the end here that'll shut off itself There you go, drop down, nudge it back into reverse, swing round here, GPS button there, that'll square me up, and we're off. And you can see it picking up again to 250 on each side. There you go, and that's it for spreading full. Easy peasy. So all I'm doing is just painting the field really, up the gears a wee bit. Everything's going smoothly, fine. Oh, where's the tram line's gone? Something must have happened with the drill. It'll not matter, just as well I'm on GPS. The combine's just come back now. As the combine boys just back, they've done their uh, recall on it. So basically, in <coughs> the separating drum, there was an issue last year, one went on fire. So they've added, or they've cut out sections and put in a fan-shaped thing, which allows it basically not to block anymore so it was blocking up with stocks and then friction was causing a fire so it's not to block up anymore getting there i'm moving down into the corner of the field and it's getting sticky so i fill up the hopper head onto some long rounds do them and then when the hopper is getting nice and light i'll head back into the corner where it's wet because i don't want to go into the corner when it's full of fur i'll end up sinking That doesn't look too pretty, does it? I don't think it's gonna rain. Put a cover up just in case. It's actually working out not too bad in amongst this wood. It's usually can be quite wet in here because it's a bit more sheltered. It doesn't dry so quick, but it's actually fine. Made it through no bother. It's looking all right, this field. Coming through just fine. Tractor's going well. It's a bit sticky in spots, a bit soft in spots. Not actually sticky, soft. A few bits over there and then I think it'll be, once I get into this corner, it'll be a bit soft. So I've worked myself way down to 1400 kilo. So that should then finish this corner. It's the lightest I can do it in, basically. No doubt I'll be 200 kilo short or something. Just did the first YouTube live I've ever done. Seemed to go fine. Didn't break anything. Didn't make a fool of myself, I don't think. Maybe I did. If you watched it, comment below, let me know. Did you like it? Was it good? Should I do more? Corner complete. It actually wasn't soft at all. It was totally easy going. An absolute doddle. Fergus Nicola, you still watching? Right, I'm gonna fill up, do one more hopper fill. It's at six o'clock just now, so that'll take me to seven or so. And then got football at eight. And we're home. Still need to give the, the hopper a wash, but just about done. But I'm just gonna get a hose down, get everything away because it's corrosive stuff that inside's the easy bit, it's all flat surface, but outside under all the vein components and bits and bobs there's all loads of surface area versus this bit. Getting there, just move you out of the way to do that bit. Ah, oh, thought my day was done. The coos and the calves and everything else in between are all in the same pen. Ah, oh. Dad's away, I'm gonna need a hand to shift all these. I'm just gonna go and make sure the wee calf's okay because the rest of them are big enough, they'll be fine, but just make sure the wee calf's all right. I might pen, pen it on its own, but anyway. Wee fella's fine. Uh, there's no point in me trying to sort these out just now. But pushing water uphill. Ah. Bandits. Oh, that's bright. Anyway, cheers for watching. 
like and subscribe and see you in the next video. We've got more to do here and then job done. We'll away and play football. Ooh.